you really are full of shit, aren't you, is a thought-provoking and unconventional novel by Carl Wiggins that delves into the complexities of human existence, mental health, and the pursuit of meaning in a world that often seems absurd. Through a unique blend of humor, introspection, and dark satire, Wiggins takes readers on a journey into the mind of the protagonist, Dave, as he navigates the ups and downs of life with an unfiltered and often irreverent perspective. The novel's title sets the tone for what readers can expect, a raw and brutally honest exploration of the human condition. At its core, the book is a character study, with Dave serving as a fascinating, if somewhat infuriating, focal point. He is an anti-hero of sorts, a man who revels in his own contradictions and refuses to conform to societal norms. Dave's refusal to sugarcoat his experiences and emotions makes him a refreshingly authentic protagonist. One of the novel's strengths lies in its portrayal of mental health. Dave is not a typical hero, he's flawed, emotionally scarred, and prone to erratic behavior. Yet, his vulnerability and struggles with anxiety and depression are depicted in a relatable and empathetic manner. Wiggins skillfully captures the inner turmoil of someone battling their own demons, making Dave a character readers can sympathize with, even when his actions are questionable. Wiggins employs a distinctive narrative style, characterized by Dave's unfiltered stream of consciousness. This style immerses readers in the chaos of Dave's mind, with the narrative often veering off on tangents and becoming disjointed. While this approach may be disorienting at times, it effectively mirrors the protagonist's mental state and adds depth to the storytelling. Readers are challenged to piece together the fragmented thoughts and emotions, just as Dave himself must do in his quest for understanding. The novel's dark humor is another noteworthy aspect. Wiggins uses irony and sarcasm to explore the absurdity of life's challenges, making the reader both laugh and cringe in equal measure. Dave's acerbic wit provides comic relief amid the bleakness of his experiences, and it underscores the novel's overarching theme, that life's struggles are, in some sense, comically futile. Throughout the narrative, Dave grapples with existential questions. He questions the meaning of life, the nature of happiness, and the purpose of his own existence. These philosophical musings are presented in a way that invites readers to reflect on their own lives and beliefs. While Dave may not always arrive at satisfying answers, his introspection encourages readers to embark on their own journeys of self-discovery. You really are full of shit, aren't you, is not a traditional narrative with a linear plot. Instead, it offers a series of vignettes and anecdotes that provide glimpses into Dave's life. These snapshots are woven together by the common thread of Dave's quest for authenticity and meaning. While this unconventional structure may challenge some readers, it ultimately mirrors the unpredictability and messiness of real life. The novel's title phrase, You Really Are Full of Shit, Aren't You?, serves as a recurring motif, echoing throughout Dave's interactions with the world. It encapsulates his skepticism toward societal norms and the pretenses that people often adopt. It also highlights the novel's overarching message, that honesty, even brutal honesty, can be a path to self-discovery and liberation. In conclusion, Carl Wiggins' You Really Are Full of Shit, Aren't You?, is a daring and unconventional exploration of the human psyche in the pursuit of authenticity in a world filled with contradictions and absurdities. Through the eyes of its flawed but compelling protagonist, the novel grapples with themes of mental health, existentialism, and the relentless search for meaning. Wiggins' unique narrative style, dark humor, an unapologetic approach to storytelling make this novel a thought-provoking, memorable read for those willing to embrace its unconventional narrative.